Hello everybody and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. As usual, my name is Steven and today we're going to be starting a short series, hopefully short, maybe it's going to be long, we'll find out. And actually what it's going to be is creating a, just a fake iPhone application. And it's not going to be the coding, it's just going to be the designing portion. Now as I'm starting this, I honestly don't really know where to begin. Um, I don't know too much about application design, so I'm going to kind of figure it out and teach you as I learn. It's probably the best way to do it. Uh, that way you can you can learn from my mistakes. And so I did a little bit of research, and I came across... Oops, don't look at that. That's coming up soon. Uh, I came across two templates. Cause I figured to get started, I should probably have a template. That way I know what size to make things and whatnot, just to keep it proportional. So the first one is on Dribble. And what it is is let me open that up. It is a uh, just a simple layout for this, and I believe it has some grids. Okay, it does not. Um, no grids, just so you can get an idea of what it looks like right here. And I I wanted grids, that's why I came up with something else. So I found this one from Edward Sanchez, great guy. Um, he has a lot of good stuff and very talented as well. So I downloaded this here, and by the way, these links are going to be in the comments below the video, so you can, you can go ahead and click those. Um, they're going to be links directly to their websites, uh, that way these guys get credit for the great work that they do. Um, so you can go ahead and do download those. I'm going to be working with this iPhone Retina version 2 PSD right here. And then also right here, I just clicked on download right there. And they made these two files, and let's open those up in Photoshop and there we go so what I want to do actually is combine both of them so I don't need this white background I don't think but let's see I'm just gonna drag everything and drop it right here and I'm gonna be using the iPhone retina as the base and I'm just gonna line it up they're both the same size so it's gonna line up perfectly like that so if I group this together we'll name this Edward group this together and we'll name this Let's see, what's this guy's name? We will name it Sean. S-H-A-U, oops. S-H-A-U-N, good, perfect. All right, so now if I hide, hide this, you can see it overlays that perfectly. This top black bar on Edwards is the task bar right there. And the bottom is gonna be like where the icons go. Um, like if you go to Twitter, you have your DMs, your, you know, rec messages your timeline blah, blah blah all those buttons that go right here and this is gonna be a simple grid of how to lay things out that we don't have to follow but we can and this top blue bar is the title bar you can see right here where it says wireframe and edit and all that so we get a simple idea I'm gonna lower that opacity just like that and that is gonna be pretty much it for this video right here I just want a quick introduction of how I'm gonna be setting it up I'm going to do some research now and get an idea of what I want. It's just going to be a fake application, so I'll probably be stealing some ideas from other people. It's just something to get me used to designing applications. So if you have any uh, anything that you like, any designs or anything, please post below. I'll take a look at it. Maybe it'll get featured in the video. Um, if you've made an application before and you have any tips, something that you found out, please, please give it a shout out and let me know. Uh, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe so you can get updates of the next video. See you soon.